on my way to show you the easiest way I know to find snappable flint in Whitley County and wouldn't you know it, daggum traffic jam. But before I go show you how to find that flint or how to pick it up, I'm going to go see if I can't find me an arrowhead. Hi guys, beautiful day here in Williamsburg, Kentucky. Uh, this is a baseball field. But it used to be something else a long time ago. Can you see it? Let me see. Oh. Little flake. Little flake there. Hey guys, I'm going to show you the easiest way I know to find a uh, nabbable stone here in the Whitley County, Knox County area of Kentucky. Uh, this right here is a brown stone that is used for landscaping around uh, commercial buildings. It's used around hospitals, uh, banks. Uh, it has this brown waxy cortex on it. Um, so it tells me it's a river cobble. I think it comes from western Kentucky. And I'll tell you why. Because if you look, some of this, this is Fort Payne material. It's black and it has the blue in it, little blue splotches. It also has flakes of fool's gold gold on the inside. So that tells me this is Fort Payne material. And I've also found Horse Creek and I found Buffalo, looks like Buffalo River from Tennessee in this. Uh, you might be able to find it. It's until where they sell this stuff. Now, a couple of problems with this material is one, these rocks are usually pretty small. Uh, three inches would be a big one. Four inches would be a monster. Uh, another thing is they usually are full of cracks because they're exposed to freezing. So, I mean, sometimes you, you're lucky enough to find a good one that'll knife really well. Here's a piece of what looks like Tennessee River chart to me. You can see that it has uh, brown on the inside. This is uh, concordial concussions where it's been banged together. This looks like it'd be a real high quality flint. Uh, another problem with this stuff is though <clears throat> they might not want you carrying off their landscaping material. I got me a nice little assortment of the brownstone here. Uh, this is the best quality of the stone I've found. It's a solid blue, bluish black color. That's the best quality pieces right there. You get the best flakes out of that. Uh, this is a big agate that I found this morning while I was out arrowhead hunting. And it looks like it's had a flake stick out of it. Looks like it's got some age on it. So, uh, I think this is one that the Native Americans were actually using. I um, also found this tool, which looks like it might have been an axe because it's sharp at this end. Looks like it might have been silt, but must have broke on them. And uh, it's a big piece of flint. I found this little tool, which looks like the same kind of stone, exactly like this, the same exact kind of stone. And I actually have other artifacts from different places in Kentucky that use this same stone. So the Native Americans did use it.
But as far as points, this is the best point. <laughs> this is the only point I found today. It's pink, which is a plus, but it's got one of the ears broke on the base there, and it's got a looks like an impact fracture in the tip. But it's a nice little arrowhead. And here is one I found yesterday at the same place. It looks almost like a paleo point, but the base doesn't seem to be ground. So I'm thinking it might not be a paleo. I don't know. But it looks like it has the same blue-black color. And this might be a very similar type of flint. The only other things I found today, I found this with a resharpened edge. So it looks like it was a utilized flake, maybe a little scraper. And I found this, which has some resharpening on the tip there. Looks like it was a flake knife. <clears throat> then I found this flake which you saw me get out of the ground and besides that all I found was uh, some pieces broken pieces I, I literally have a coffee can full of these broken pieces and you would think that if they were being broken by the bulldozer when it's putting in the baseball field that you would find the other pieces but if you look, there's patina where the break is, so these are old breaks, and uh, I don't usually find the other half. So, I guess that's it. Thanks, guys.